This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. A lot of people have trouble subtracting using the usual algorithm, which is the method where you go from right to left with borrowing. For instance, let's say you have 3, 2, 0, 4, minus 1, 8, 6, 9, so the way most people learn to do this is they can't do 4 minus 9, so they borrow. Of course, you can't borrow from a 0, so they have to go over here. That makes 1, and then they put the 1 here, and then they borrow that from the 10, make that a 9, and put a 1 here. So this is the usual way of doing it. You have 14 minus 9 is 5, and then 9 minus 6 I can now do is 3. But now I have this problem of 1 minus 8. I can't do that, so I borrow again. And then we have 11 minus 8 is 3, and 2 minus 1 is 1. And, all right, that should be the answer. And then we could simply check it by adding these two numbers and get the original. So that means I would take 1, 3, 3, 5 and add it to 1, 8, 6, 9. And there are many ways you can add, too. You can add from left to right or right to left. I'm going to do the traditional one. 5 plus 9 is 14. You carry the 1, and then that gives you a 10. Carry the 1, 12, carry the 1. And then we say, was that the original number up here? 3, 2, 0, 4, yes. Okay, that's traditional. Now let's do one that is going from left to right instead. Take the same problem, 3, 2, 0, 4 minus 1, 8, 6, 9. All right, so what do I mean going left to right? Well, we'll just start from the left, and we'll say 3 minus 2, and I'm sorry, 3 minus 1 is 2, and now here's a problem. I have 2 minus 8. All right, well, what I do is instead I borrow from my answer. So I'm going to borrow from my answer and put a 1 up here, and now I'm going to do 12 minus 8. That would be 4. And, okay, here's a problem. 0 minus 6 can't do that, so I borrow from my answer, subtract 1. And now I could do 10 minus 6, which is 4. And let's see, 4 minus 9 can't do that. I'm going to borrow from my answer. So I could do 14 minus 9 is 5. So these minus 1s, you see down here, you just subtract. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 3, 3, 5. And that's the way you can subtract from left to right. All right, let's try the, another one. So I have 6312 minus 3519. I know that's really 6,312. All right, so 6 minus 3 is 3. You can't do 3 minus 5, so I borrow like this. Then I do 13 minus 5 is 8. Hmm. 1 minus 1, I can do that 0. 2 minus 9 I can't do, so I borrow, and then I could do the 12 minus 9 is 3. Now look what happens here when I subtract. I have this 3 minus 1 is 2, but you have to think of this as 80 minus 1. So what will that be? 79 and then 3. So let's go ahead and check our answer. I would check by taking the answer I got, 2793 adding it to the 3519. And I'm going to add from left to right. On another video I showed you how to add going from left to right. 2 and 3 is 5. 7 and 5 is 12. I'm just going to write the 12 like this. 9 and 1 is 10. I'm just going to write the 10 like this. And then 3 and 9 is 12. And I have 6, 3, 1, 2, and that was the original number up here. So that means this is correct. That is the right answer. Now, some people don't like writing these minus 1s here. They want it to save a little space. Let me show you another way you can do this. It's real similar. You still do 6 minus 3 is 3. But when you do 3 minus 5, you just borrow by just canceling out like that. And what that means is you're going to subtract 1 later. So this will give you 13 minus 5, which is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then I have, again, I can't do 2 minus 9. So the trick here is you can't really just take away from 
0, so you'd have to cross out 80. 2d12 minus 9 is 3. When you slash in front of a number, it means you just subtract 1. So 1 less than 3 is 2. 1 less than 80 is 79. And this is still 3. I actually like it better writing the minus 1 myself, but when I first learned it, it was called slash arithmetic, where you could just slash it out like that. Okay, so that's all there is to um, subtracting from left to right. This is one of many methods of subtraction. You could look at my other subtraction methods to see if you like it. Of course, if you already know how to subtract with borrowing and that's easy for you, then no problem. You can continue to do that for uh, the rest of your life. What really matters is that you can subtract and get the right answer and not be confused by it. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.